Yo, what up, everybody? Gabe here with Omni Bros Live. This time, I'm doing another exciting, amazing look at a new Omnibus. So here is this great Omnibus Spotlight today, brought to you straight up here on Omni Bros Live here on YouTube. So as you can already see, this is the... JMS, the J. Michael Straczynski, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2 Omnibus uh, just came out. So let's go ahead and let's take a good look through this Omnibus. We're going to take a look at the paper quality, the binding, all the great cool stuff inside of it to kind of help you, yes, you, you, on if you wanted to purchase this or not. How do you feel about the contents? All that great stuff coming to you right here on Omni Bros Live. So enough of all that kind of fun, crazy, nonsense stuff. Let's get into the excitement. Let's take a look at the J. Michael Straczynski Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 2. And this is the Ron Garney Back in Black uh, DM variant cover. So... If you've been around here before, you know how I do this. Let's take a spin around the omnibus. Here's the front cover here. Great, great image here of Peter Parker back in the black suit. Uh, it's not the symbiote black suit. Uh, quick little bit of a Spider-Man history. When Spider-Man lost the black suit symbiote, he had a regular costume, like a regular, just regular cloth costume made of the black suit. Uh, I guess to kind of just marvel did that, just kind of keep the consistency of everything going on and the uh, awesome fandom that was going with having the black suit. So this is the DM variant. There was three, count them, three covers. This is the Ron Garning. They had a Joe Casada cover and they had a Mike uh, Diodato cover as well. But this is the one I wanted the most because I love the black suit. And I thought it fit more with the storyline going on in the book. Here is a look at the spine. So yeah, it's this elephant in the room here. This is uh, a flat spine. Uh, I think, and I might be incorrect, Omar mentioned it on the Omni Bros Live Monday show. That I think it's just, and again, I might be incorrect. I'm trying to remember this correctly. I think it was just this black dm cover that had the flat spine i think the other two versions had regular curved spines but you know it, regular typical uh black spine cover goes along here's the volume one matches fine with the volume one uh omnibus as well the volume one has a curved spine i can't really tell the difference uh here this way but just kind of give you guys a little bit of a comparison on what's going on with that and the flat spines and all that kind of stuff. And we'll take a look through, keep turning it around. Back cover, back cover is awesome. I love when, let me scoot this up a little bit, kind of get you guys a little better uh, view. I love when Marvel puts all the covers on the, uh, the back covers. It's just a great way to show off all the covers. It's always cool to have a collage seeing all the different covers, uh, especially with the storyline like this, with artists kind of, uh, there was a little bit of revolving artist going on. So you got different covers, different interiors, all that kind of stuff. And there's kind of the paper block. It's a pretty thick omnibus, uh, not the thickest one in the world, but it's a good size omni for sure. And once more, let's do it like this. I'm going to take the dust jacket off so we can take a look at the book cover itself. Give this a nice spin. beautiful image all the way around. I love it when they do the wrapped image 
around the uh, the covers like this. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, I don't like it when it's just like a plain black cover. That just is like amazing Spider-Man. I like when you put a little bit of effort, give us something to look at here as well. A uh, beautiful image that has a nice collage of kind of the story elements that are being discussed in this volume. So, Yeah, come on, stand up full. There we go. Nice little comparison there of the cover with the uh, dust jacket. So, all right. Next up, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. We'll be right back. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to flip through the book. Let's take a look at the art and the inside. We're going to take a look at the binding, the paper quality. Uh, the flat spine, that's, I'm sure that's going to be a little bit of a topic, uh, a discussion for sure. Um, but here we go. Here's the uh, dust jacket. Again, a little bit of a close-up. Uh, nice little forward overview of the contents and the storylines involved in the storyline. Creator shout-outs. That's always awesome here. Creator shout-outs to, of course, uh, J. Michael Shazinski, Mike Diodato. Joe Casada. Those are the major artists on the storylines involved here as well. And to take a look, let's see, these are the uh, issues in this uh, omnibus. So we do get the issues for the other uh, Civil War storyline uh, tie ins, the back in black, one more day. So we're looking at Amazing Spider Man 515 through 545. Neighborhood Spider-Man 1 through 4 and number 24. Marvel Knights Spider-Man 19 through 22. Sensational Spider-Man number 41. Spider-Man The Other Sketchbook. And Spider-Man One More Day Sketchbook. So we got J. Michael Szynski with writing duties. Uh, the legendary Peter David. Reginald Hudlin. Art in here. Mike Diodato. Good old Ron Garney. Joe Quesada, Mark Brooks, Tyler Kirkham, and the late great Rest in Power, Mr. Mike Raringo, and of course, Pat Lee. So again, here's a nice collage of all the different covers for the issues involved in this storyline, or in this omnibus as well. So, awesome, nice, good stuff here. But enough of all that, let's get into, let's get into the guts of everything that we really want to take a look at. So again, we do have a flat spine situation on this omnibus. You know where we are here. This is the One More Day storyline. The ever controversial, the ever divisive, divided community affected by this storyline uh, from Joe Quesada, who stories out there say he uh, did his executive editing, editor-in-chief, to make the ending be what it was for One More Day. And then, of course, Harry Osborn. If you're not sure what's going on with Harry Osborn in, in this storyline, I'm not going to blow it up and spoil it or anything here. But almost as controversial as the relationship aspect of the storyline uh, Harry Osborne is as controversial, if not maybe more, depending on uh, your fan, uh, how strong your fan feelings are about uh, classic Spider-Man stories and past history and continuity and retcons. So, all right. And that's that for that. Let's take a look at some of the supplemental material. Uh, that's always my favorite part of these omnibuses and collected editions is just a supplemental uh, extra special fun stuff you get in the back. Here's the original cover or image used for the cover that I showed you earlier. I'm kind of not, don't want to get into the spoilery stuff. And here's, let's get right into supplemental material. Uh, we've got a forward word from co creator Stan Lee, some Mike Diodato, uh, Thumbnails, prelims for covers here as well. This is one of the covers as one of the DM covers used for the omnibus as well. Iron Spidey uh, 
Page designed. Oh, this is Chris Bahalo. Interesting. I learned something new. I didn't know Chris uh, Bahalo was one of the uh, designers of the uh, Iron Spidey suit. That's awesome. Here's the, the black and back and black original artwork here, used for the cover that I have. These are awesome covers here too. The Spider Man 525 variant. That's a lot. That kind of cross over to different books. So here's a Spider Man number one, or I'm sorry, Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man number one. These are all, all these are all awesome Mike Waringo covers. Got classic Spidey. Got black suit Spidey here. That's a Marvel Knight Spidey number nineteen. Spidey five twenty five. That's a Ben Riley. Um, we got the uh, the Bagman. That's for Friendly Neighborhood. Scarlet Spider. Six Arm Spider Man. I love these covers. Iron Spidey, the original Iron Suit Spidey, ID, uh, Spidey Armor. Cosmic Spider Man, Captain Universe. Spider Man 2099. Uh, here's the uh, uh, Spider Man as a wrestler from AF 15. Awesome, just Peter Porker. Great stuff here, Iron Spider Man. More. Uh, Cover breakdowns, Ron Grindy cover breakdowns, Clayton Crane. These uh, Marco Djurgovic covers are great as well. Here's a sketchbook. I always got to stop and appreciate Micro Ringo art whenever that pops up. What a loss. What a loss. Seriously, hunt down anything Micro Ringo's ever done if you're unfamiliar with him and his work. Especially that. Uh, Fantastic Four series he did with Mark Wade. This is all awesome stuff. I love just here's Pat Lee. I just love seeing like original art and thought processes as they put books together. Here's a sketchbook here. So great stuff. Interviews with JMS. That's always great. Stop by here and reread this kind of stuff. Nice kind of a history look at a Spider-Man as well. And some creator appreciations and shout outs for their love of this storyline. So there we go, everybody. Spider-Man, JMS, Spider-Man Volume 2, Omnibus. Thanks again for checking it out, everyone. Appreciate you uh, stopping by here, Omni Bros Live. If this is your first time around, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so that you can enjoy more spotlight videos like this. Our live shows that we do every Sunday, uh, Monday, and Thursday. So we put out a lot of great content, live shows, live just discussions, hauls and reads, and uh, weekly releases on Mondays. So Sundays are our news and kind of hangout discussion shows, like a big Q&A Sundays, that's 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern. Mondays are hauls, reads, and uh, weekly releases from previews, all sponsored by InStockTrades.com. The entire channel shall shout out to InStockTrades.com for their continued sponsorship of our show for so very, very long. They are the absolute best place to get this omnibus for up to 42% off, so check it out there. Um, and our Thursday shows are topic shows, top tens, rankings, uh, creator discussions, run runs of uh, creators discussions as well. So again, everybody, thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll see you around.